guys, I'm kind of at an impasse here. Uh, Joseph got me some good cigars from bestcigarprices.com. She had ordered me a box of Fonseca vintages and a glass presentation case. The case somehow disappeared into the ether. The cigars got held up. A couple of months after the fact, we had gotten the Fonseca cigars in a wooden case, which is quite attractive. I'll show it in a different video. And there was an additional holdup in it. On top of that, so we'd gotten a box of um, a sample box of acids. And then they'd given us another prize of random cigars, and this was one of them. Yeah. I'm kind of holding the labels here because the cigar canoed and I was unable to smoke it. Now, some cigars canoe. Uh, these sort of fell off. I didn't really put them on the cigar. It's almost sort of like stapling, stapling a toupee on a dead man. I mean, if anybody of you saw a Weekend at Bernie's, you should see Weekend at Bernie's 1 and 2. This was that cigar. That white label on top is supposed to be a Kubita label. Kubita is a very good cigar, one of the ones I like very much, but it's an off color. It should be a red color with gold lining like the bottom part, but this is this is a white color with red writing, completely off, okay? Uh, the cigar wound up looking like this, sort of like a dead chicken's hemorrhoid, if you can imagine that. How the chicken got the hemorrhoid and how it died is anybody's guess. Not every cigar in that pack was bad. This is a regular Fonseca. Delicious smoke. They were both Toros. That one I was unable to smoke. This one I enjoyed very much. So, the video would have been a W2F cigar. Uh, I'll focus on the Fonseca that I enjoy smoking very much, along with the box of Fonseca vintages that Ghost got me, and the sample box of the Acid Cigars from Drew Estates that bestcigarprices.com was good enough to send me. I'm still of a very high opinion of the site, but guys, putting in cigars with labels like this... What did you call it? A Russian... What? You were ta you talked about this being a Russian something? Oh no, no, a WTF cigar. Oh, I Not an RUS cigar, oh. no. But a cigar that winds up looking like this, and it tastes worse than it looks, and I'm suggesting to you to see Weekend at Bernie's Part 1 and 2 about stapling Gatti Payana Dead Man. You enjoy that. Thank you very much. I'll finish off the rest of this Fonseca. Enjoy yourselves. A lot of people call it the Raz. It's a, um, it's a Robusto. Okay. Very good smile. Listen. Thank you, my friend. No, 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 really. We gotta. Are you, are you I'm filming. Yeah. Listen. When, when do we start? Tell me when I'm going. Going. No, oh. we're not going. This is amazing. Guys, right. listen to this. I just made a review for a terrible cigar with the labels that I don't know what the hell they were. They were all wrong. Do you know Kuvita cigars? I don't know them. It's I supposed don't. to be a red label with gold lining. This was like a white label with blue lining. Terrible piece of crap cigar. It looked just oh, as bad no, no, as it's. No it just, yeah, that's no good. no good. Joe came up. Joe came up to me out of the blue, out of the blue, and gave me the this Ramona, he says it's a Ramon Alonias. Okay. Ramon Alonias Cuban. Specially selected. The Raz. It's a Robusto cigar. Very yeah. good cigar. Very cool. And he just gave me a Cuban cigar out of the blue. He noticed because I, I saw this this mess over here. Yeah, yeah. That's, I had to take care of Pablo. That's right. And Joe. And I figured one good turn deserved another, so I had a limitado production here that I hope he will like okay. and Thank you very yeah, much. yeah this was just out of the blue I mean this was instant karma that's yeah. why cigar smokers are the best that's that right. is true cigar the smokers best. are the best yeah. Thank you, so Good people. Welcome, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye guys. Instant karma right there. There you Thank go. Thank you so much, Joe.